alive and wasn't really trying to be. <laughs> so you like it, Will? Am I really low? God, I swear. Will is helping me get my um my crap together because of the mess that went on Sunday was a total disaster and so i've been trying to do new things with the channel to make it cooler for you guys do i sound better i don't know because i don't have a headset <laughs> so i'm gonna have to break down to get a headset it did okay cool 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 yeah will is here briefly he's gonna go to bed um but he was helping me super awesome and we're also trying to figure how we're going to be able to stream together. Yay! <laughs> Looking forward to doing that with Will. I'm so excited. Um, and getting everyone together to have some fun. So, how are you all doing this evening? Yay! Out of ring the bell. Where's Will's bell? That's, I need a simpler bell to say yay! <laughs> I need a different bell. I can't use the same bell for the celebrating babies. I'm going to have to do something different. I sound great. Nothing like last night. Thank you. I know. I know. The delay is a fool. It really is. That's why I was trying to tell you when you're live. It's like, there's a delay. <laughs> y'all, me and Will are acting up in the background. How are y'all doing? It's good to see everyone where is my chat so that i can say hey to everybody let me see but we'll get me in trouble with y'all look yeah you are too <laughs> i would put him on the phone but we'll act it up too so i ain't gonna do that <laughs> let's see where is my phone oh it's right here let me see if y'all want to say hey to will how do I even take the thumb? Oh, it's in my Bluetooth, duh. And turn you up. Y'all got Will on the phone acting up. Hey, everybody. <laughs> Sandy Williams, haven't seen you in here before. Hello, hello. <laughs> Shamina Stewart, Sheila Cuffey's in here, Will. Oh, oh you did hear yourself? Okay, good. <laughs> We are being silly tonight, y'all. I actually had a legitimate reason, two reasons for coming on tonight. Number one, to test my equipment, make sure that my intro worked. And number two, I wanted to talk about Spangles. So we're going to discuss that a little bit for uh, the folks in my group. And I actually am going to take my attention away from y'all briefly to go post the link to the live over in that group so that they can join in and see about Spangles. But... Um, I want to say hi to everybody first. So, Miss Sheila Cuffey. Hi, Sheila Cuffey. <laughs> Shamina Stewart, Linda Snee, Tammy uh, Valson, Linda Angel, Tammy Croft. Hi, how is everyone? Sheila Chan, welcome as always. Diana Henderson, Will on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> Sheila Chan, everyone is Monday surprise. It is a surprise for me today and I'm in a really good mood Pearl Lucas which is crazy because I've been outside cleaning up my doggies tore up like five six different stuffed toys and I had to be out there in the mud cleaning that mess up so I really shouldn't be in a good mood but I am <laughs> loyalty hello Shamina says I've been on the baby's booty bins for the past 12 hours oh no <laughs> don't binge out too much <laughs> what you say Will Oh, yeah, because you're going to get that feedback. Yup, because you're on the phone. Everybody, look, people saying, hey, Will, that's funny. <laughs> Pacola Chase, I'm glad you are happy that I am online, and I'm glad. Yeah. Uh, see, I don't know what I'm, okay, I don't know what I'm doing wrong to make it buffer other than moving too much, and that's what's irritating. So, I probably I cleaned hey, off. Hey, <laughs> Will saying, "Hey, by phone." 
Um, I cleaned off files and stuff. So this is like a fool. I, this is really irritating. Maria, hey. JG, hey. How y'all doing today? Sandy Williams from St. Louis. <laughs> Love Retta. Can you design with So What Pro? You can, but you can't. Okay. That's a double edged question. All right. So you can take designs that are already there two, three, four different designs, put them together to make a design. That way, yes, you can design with Sew It Pro. But if you want to take a picture or a logo and make your own embroidery file out of it, no, I'm sorry, you cannot do that with Sew It Pro. That is done with Sew Art. All right, that's the program. You need a digitizing program for that. Sharon B says, hello from New York. Well, hey, Sharon, how are you? <laughs> I am snot nose having a good afternoon. I am. <laughs> I hope you're having one too. Tammy Crop, you joined the Hoot Group last night. Love it. So sweet. Please be sure to post your pictures of the stuff that you're working on. Alita, hello. <laughs> Robin Bryant is saying hey to Will and everyone. Aisha, hi. How are you? And yes, Will has made me an affiliate with the Carolina Thread Place. I am now officially official with Will's business. <laughs> so if you want thread, I'm going to tell you to go to carolinathreadplace.com slash hoop group. Yes. Woo. Woo. <laughs> and he's going to give me a kickback. We like kickbacks. <laughs> We'll see how it goes. I just want you guys to get a really good deal. So that's why we're referring you over there. Kickback or no, Will has excellent customer service. He'll get it shipped right out to you, and he is awesome. So, yes, go over there and get your thread. Hopefully, I won't buffer too much. Yas, yas, yas. Okay, so let me make sure. Let me make sure. I'm glad y'all can hear me join Will, too. Woohoo, sweet. All right, y'all. Will, do you want to stay on the phone or do you want to come over this way? <laughs> Even though you're supposed to be helping me make sure I don't buffer, so I guess we'll be all right with you on the you phone. You are kind of good. You are blurry, but blurry. Oh, I can hear you very well. Uh, you are blurry. Why am I blurry? But that's, um, it could be my computer. I'm too oh, pretty to be blurry. <laughs> no one that's a lot. Oh, I know. I have my thing on 720, usually. So, you guys, for those of you who are in here, I wasn't coming in to talk about embroidery tonight, as I'm sure you can hear the cricket running in the background. I came in here so that we can talk about spangles. Spangles. Woo, what are spangles? <laughs> so, let me link this other group in and then we'll get to talking about spangles as folks start coming in if i can find them oh there we go nope, wrong group sorry y'all. and i'm looking oh you know what will that's something else i've been meaning to tell you i'm looking at doing a podcast as well you guys oh my god as if i don't oh, have enough yes Oh, really? That would be a lot of fun. Okay. So, I know who to go to to learn how to do podcasts. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Here it is. Ugh, why did it take me so long to find that group? Learn about... <laughs> I know, it's hilarious. I know, right? <laughs> Easier. <laughs> oh. I can hear myself. All right. Oops, wrong thing. Okay, oh. sorry, y'all. I'm trying to post this post. And I need to change the title of it and all that cool jazz. It's just, it's a lot to be doing. All right, so... Let me go back. I don't see... Oh, Janet McKinney. Hey, Janet McKinney. Hey, girl. Love your shows. Have you shown how to embroider a shoe, A. Warner? I have not. 
um it's funny i have some shoes to embroider i got some chuck taylors that i bought at the beginning of summer last year awesome cute shoes 60 bucks and guess where they are right out there on the shelf <laughs> Yes, even though with that one, I'll probably lean more towards just regular hot fix because it can take the yeah. heat. But the shoes are um, sitting right out there. Haven't even put them on my foot yet. It's just crazy. So it should be uh, a lot of fun to get in there and do some um, embroidery on a canvas shoe. Um, now the Hoop Tech company has a specific clamp I'm trying to make sure I get my words right Hoop Tech has a special clamp for shoes to make it easier alright so one of these days yes, one of these days we'll go shopping when you come to Charlotte Will and maybe we can film it too and go take a look at a hoop clamp <laughs> what are spangles Learn about spangles. That would be awesome. Yas. Coming up in uh, March, I think. March. March. Well, I'm supposed to start actually traveling um, in March. So I meant to mention that as well. Let's see. Maria says, not sure. What are we not sure of? <laughs> Uh, tutorial on how you created the black bling shirt to fill in the green yes I did I do have a uh, oh okay thank you Sheila um, I do have a video up that shows how to do the HBCU shirt uh, and how to layer the different stones okay so that should be up now as a matter of fact um, to show how to make those shirts because I did mention to uh, the cricket group that I'm in that I was going to post that video. So right now, what I'm doing on the Cricut is I'm doing Spangles, okay? And Spangles, I kind of, in a way, like a little bit better, in a way, than I do rhinestones. And the only reason why I'm saying that, which is crazy because I do a ton of bling, like this shirt that I have on is actually rhinestones. Um, but I do enjoy spangles because of the flexibility with it all right and it's low investment so for those of you who are interested in getting into bling and you know can't swing the price of those stones and the flock all right you got a heat press you can get t-shirts but now you gotta buy flock and you have to buy designs all right and you have to buy your rhinestones and your transfer tape and your brush <laughs> and your containers <laughs> will got his containers so it's like there's a big investment all right and i know yeah, yeah my husband you know he's cried many a nights about <laughs> how much money i've gone through you know hundreds of dollars of stones at a time so that i could save some money but hundreds of dollars of stones at a time is is a lot when you're you know trying to build up your business so this is something a little bit different, all right? It's not quite stones, but it still blings, all right? So I have a shirt right here. Make sure I got the right one. And of course I don't have the right one. I never do. All right, got the shirt right here. And this is an example of spangles, all right? So let me make sure I'm in the screen. Can you see how that's blinging there? Now, from the camera and my horrible resolution, <laughs> can you tell whether or not that's rhinestones? No, you can't. Looks just like bling, doesn't it? All right. Very so. Amazing. With some sublimation, definitely check out my channel. I have some amazing videos on sublimation. Oh, Tammy, I am going to get into sublimation. So, hopefully... Between me and Will, we'll have, you know, mainly Will, though, because he's pro-edit, been doing it a whole heck of a lot longer than I have. But what my videos will probably be is, guess what? We're getting ready to start trying this, and so watch me make mistakes. 
So that's probably what my channel is going to showcase. Um, and we'll laugh. And, yeah, yeah, and I'm going to be laughing at myself. I always do. So this is actually a little easier and friendlier version of Blink. Okay, so that's what we're going to talk about tonight. All right, so you have... Um, you already do vinyl in most instances. Most of you who are joining in here, you already do vinyl. So you're familiar with vinyl. You know how it works. You know that you take your vinyl and you lay it, you know, shiny side down, dull side up, and then you reverse it and cut it out, your, your words or your images or whatever. You know how to layer already, right? So that's pretty much what you would do with bling the only difference is instead of actually cutting out a picture or cutting out uh shapes or whatever you're just cutting out the circles all right so the other thing that i do like about doing spangles it's made out of this holographic vinyl that's what gives it that shiny bling look all right what makes people think oh she got a bling shirt no it's a spangle shirt all right so <laughs> what did Mary say? Mary Shellbetter just subscribed to my channel. Thank oh, cool. You. Sweet. Thank you for subscribing to Will. <laughs> hey, Eddie Jr. Is he in here? Oh, sweet. What up, Eddie? Yep. <laughs> Maria <laughs> says someone asked for this. I had no idea how to do it. Okay. So, Spangles, all it is is you just go and you purchase a bling design. All right, the bling design has the holes, right? And what you normally do is you lay your flock down on the Cricut mat, which I have the video on that. You would lay your flock down right. and it would, I know, I can see that it's skipping some frames. So I figured it was coming. It doesn't show anymore. So let me know when I come, when it does better, Will. And I'm flashing around a lot of stuff in front of the camera. So I can, I, I'm sure it's going to, Especially when I, you know what, it's probably when I wave the iridescent stuff. Um, yeah. But the Spangles is just this holographic vinyl. You go out and you can buy a bling design that you normally would cut a template, a flock, rhinestone flock template and reuse it by constantly brushing your stones in, picking your stones up, blinging a shirt, brush more stones into the same template pick it up, bling out another shirt, so on and so forth. Well, this time, instead of worrying about what size stones you need, you don't have to worry about that anymore doing spangles. Um, instead of worrying about uh, buying stones and all that jazz, this will just cut your circles out. Okay, so you don't have to say, well, I need to go buy the right size stones. Doesn't matter because all the holes are going to cut out in this. Now, the downside, which really isn't a downside because you already know how to layer, but the downside would be you'll have to get, um, if it's a red and a white design, like in this particular shirt, um, one of the options that I could have done with this shirt is the outline of the letters for dance. I could have done that in red. And then the burst, the, the burst of the circles around could have just been in silver, right? So I would have to cut the burst out in the silver holographic and then separately cut out the letters, the circles around the letters in the red, all right? So here's your red holographic, all right? So um, I've tried it with the glitter vinyl. It doesn't look quite as good with the glitter vinyl. The holographic is what you want to use, all right? So... Hey, Miss Debbie, I'm on the phone too. Oh, yeah, Miss Depp. <laughs> so I have Will on the phone as well. He's hanging out with me. He was helping me troubleshoot my channel today, uh, going live and making sure that everything sounds good. Uh, and I also wanted him to see my new intro. He inspired me to do it, an introduction to uh, coming on live tonight. So if you didn't catch that, if you're just now coming in, watch the replay. I worked really hard on that intro. <laughs> And I want y'all to see it so that you can have something to look forward to for the next one. Am I buffering again? Because it looks like I skipped the frame. Yeah, okay. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. I didn't even see this pink vinyl, pink holographic. Is it back? 
Okay, I sound like I'm back. Here's even some pink it holographic. Oh, it is? Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> Oh yeah, oh yeah, Eddie Jr. Blinging is a lot of fun. It's actually more addictive than embroidery. No, Miss Sheila, it's not. Are the bling designs a lot more expensive than regular designs? No. Um, and then to well, it depends on where you go. Now, just, okay, case in point, embroidery designs are not super expensive, but it depends on where you go, right? So yep. two of my favorite websites, one is Embroidery Library, the other is Urban Threads, as far as like just full-fledged embroidery designs is concerned. Designs by Little B is my favorite in the hoop website. So for straight embroidery designs, Embroidery Library has pretty decent prices, especially when their stuff goes on sale. But if you notice, Nothing goes on sale like that at Urban Threads. Embroidery Library is like a buck fifty when their stuff is on sale. Urban Threads is still like three dollars and something, which is still not expensive by any means, but the price difference is there. You can clearly see it. So the same with bling designs. It depends on the designer that you go to. I have another one and he does actual portraits of people in rhinestones and bling right i mean insane insanely gorgeous portraits in bling but the price of his designs are high but you can tell in the quality it's worth it honestly because he has a darth vader one that i'm about ready to go get it now <laughs> so because you y'all know i'm a, a hardcore vader fan so he has an awesome vader profile uh, and it's like 30 bucks for it, you know, so you have to uh, Know where to shop and where to go and most of the designers that I have linked for those of you if you're joining me from Mr. Lucas, I know it's buffering a little bit. I don't know why after a while once I get in and get going You know, I'll start to buffer and it's frustrating but I'm gonna keep rolling with it, and if I need to stop, Will will let me know. That's why he's on the phone helping me troubleshoot. And I'm not gonna be on much longer, Will, because I know you gotta go to bed. Um. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Will is actually learning and making rhinestone patterns too, so he'll probably have some soon. I don't know how soon because, of course, when you work and you're working on other stuff, too, because you have a show coming up, right? Yes, I have um, two shows. Well, I'll be in Greenville this weekend, or this Friday, right. with you. And then I have Charlotte Comic Con coming up in March. Okay. And something else. <laughs> yeah, that's what I figured. I four shows over the next two months. Right, that's what I figured. So, you know, he's got a lot on his plate, but he'll still be working on you know some bling designs here and there and i did purchase the software to learn how to make the bling designs i haven't made them yet but to answer um maria i'm sorry it's frozen am i frozen to you yet will yeah your video is freezing but it's um, sound is pretty good okay so you can hear but it's um the video is frozen okay so I need to figure out what's going on and why as it goes. It Do you have anything going on in the background? In the back. Y'all, I appreciate you uh, hanging in with me while trying to get this stuff worked out. Right now, no cricket is, but that's getting ready to be done. Yeah, that's done um, now, so I can cut that off. Ten. Is that right, what you're you asking? How's it going with everyone? Hello. You said task. Okay. On the desktop, yeah. right click? No, on the um, task bar. Oh. And it should say task manager. You click on that. Yep. And then it goes into process. You click on performance. Look 
Crooked Wheel. Showing me some new stuff, y'all. I'm trying to make it better. <laughs> What's your um, CPU usage? Oh, Jesus. Can it pull up? What? It, ooh, child, it's taking forever. Okay, where do I see that? Okay, I'm looking at performance. CPU says CPU. what? Speed. What am I trying to tell you? Utilization is 32%. Mm -hmm. CPU, memory, disk. Yep. CPU is what? 31%, 0.79 gigahertz. Yeah, that's about, that's why, since your high CPU is just causing issues, um, what is your memory percentage? 4.58 gigs, 56%. And it's about what I'm using. Uh, what is your Ethernet? Uh, 0.4 megabits per second. Um, what's your send received? Where do I see that at? I don't even know. Oh, click on Ethernet. Okay. Duh. Send, send, send is two point. Oh God, it's all over the place. It goes from three mega megabits per second down to 960 kilobits per second. It's up and down, up and down, up and down. And receive is 320, 448, 152. That's up and down, up and down too. I'm glad the picture is frozen because I'm over here acting up. I'm like dancing in the background of the video. <laughs> I don't know how to make it down. <laughs> right now, you're telling, you're coming across, you're telling people that I'm learning. So that's where it is right now. So it's really far behind. Uh-oh. My, my headphones are on the phone. <laughs> right? So I, I shut it down and started it back up. Oh, video's good. Now it's good? <laughs> I'm going to be still for a little bit and see if that. <laughs> no one, I cannot do that. Is that better to everyone? It's about three, three second delay right where it's supposed to be. Okay, okay. Yes. Yes. Sweet. I'm have to you are streaming at uh, four. Uh, There you go. Okay, cool. So, what's current? Current was your um, daily kill. Which is dumb. And why did it show so many chromes when I only had two windows open? All the add ons. Shut up, Will. I forgot about that. And I try not to have add ons on my stuff either. You guys, Will is being my technical uh, assistant tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Because he does uh, internet. I just found out that Will does web hosting. How cool is that? So if you want a website, email will at carolinathreadplace.com. So. Hey, I can do this. <laughs> I needed that earlier. <laughs> he was ringing the bell. That was funny. Oh my gosh. Y'all, we acting up tonight. <laughs> Thank you, Will. Everybody says thank you, Will. <laughs> Acting up tonight, my bad. We usually aren't this off the chain. I know, I know. That's gonna be fun. That's gonna be a lot of fun when we finally do. That's gonna be a lot of fun. Oh my gosh. All right, you guys. Sorry about that. We're trying to make sure everything flows like it's supposed to and gets everything together. See, Miss Pearl Lucas even says, thanks, Will. Aisha says, thanks, Will. Yay, Will. We appreciate it. <laughs> all right, y'all. And look, all this rigmarole and back and forth and my cricket is done. So that's pretty cool. And I can show you guys... Uh, this is vinyl. That's all this is. And I know me putting this in front of the camera is probably going to make me buffer. I hope not. But as you see, this is just my um, holographic vinyl. A sheet of holographic vinyl. 
face down. I reversed the weeding on it. Hello from Northeast Texas. Make sure we're hitting the like button, please. Thank you, Sharon Davenport, for that. I really appreciate it. <laughs> so what I want to show you is what did it cut out? Someone asked before the buffering. <laughs> Someone asked, um, does it matter the size that you cut it out on the Cricut? That's the cool thing about doing spangles. The size doesn't really matter, all right? It's really cool because as long as your blade is good, you got your Cricut on the right settings, you got a nice sticky surface for your vinyl to stick to, it'll cut out those holes usually without any issues even if they're small holes because we know that Cricut or any actually any cutting machine that you have uh the holes should cut out pretty cleanly as long as you know like i said your, your blade is good and everything so what i'm doing right now is weeding which we're all familiar with weeding that process does not change so we're pulling the border off of it because usually your bling designs will have a square cut out around the design because it's going to cut out that flock for you in the template in the size that it's supposed to be and the other cool thing i like about this is if you come across a bling design uh, that normally you would cut out out of your flock and it has to be a certain size so that your holes will fit your stones like they're supposed to. With this, it doesn't matter. You can shrink a design or you can make a design bigger because the size of the holes don't matter, really. I mean, because you're not trying to use those holes to fit stones. You're just using them to give the illusion of stones. So you can go just about as big as you want with the design. So that's really cool. So here we go. We are weeding. And you just pull this off and it's going to leave our stones behind, all right? And that's just how easy it is to bling a shirt without rhinestones. And it looks good. Now, I meant to cut my heat press on, actually, so that we could go through the process of actually pressing this on a shirt. All right. sweet all right so i'm gonna have to make sure i don't have ie running look at this look at that looks like stones doesn't it does it look familiar can you tell the difference of course this isn't on a black shirt so you can bling without buying rhinestones Okay, look at there. This is my favorite design, y'all. I probably shouldn't like the weekend, but I do love the weekend, and this is a similar design. I just, I love this design. I got it on a lot of stuff. But I can actually shrink this if I want to, make the, the circles smaller. I could make it bigger if I want to, make the circles bigger. It doesn't matter because this isn't regulated by the size of your stones so this can actually uh, be a lucrative alternative and to make it more palatable to people because some people are like well i want a bling shirt and i want rhinestones okay well you can have rhinestones or for a little bit less you can have spangles and something about the word spangles <laughs> makes people think that it's just glamorous or whatever. So spangles, sequins. Uh, I've heard people call them sequins without the holes, which technically that's what it is in a way. Um, so you can name it either the spangles, the sequins, or just say it's bling. And this is a cheaper, more affordable alternative for your customers. So if you have tough customers like mine where, uh, see it's telling me I'm skipping frames, so let me know if it's jacked up. Um, but if you have tough customers like mine where they're like, mm, I don't want to pay $50 for that shirt with all those stones on it, okay, well, we can do spangles. Yeah. And that's an alternative. All right. So I just wanted to go over that really quick and show you guys because uh, in my 
cricket group if any of you are joining me live with this video from the cricket group I did put a post uh, yesterday that shows where you can go and buy designs so with this live video I'm gonna go back and edit it and put those exact same links in the description of this video that I put online in the cricket group so you can go shop with these ladies and look at some of the designs that they have and any one of those rhinestone downloadable templates okay that's what you're looking for is a rhinestone download template they run five dollars a piece four dollars a piece one lady has her stuff on sale 50 percent off the entire website that link i'm going to actually put first so that you can go and stock up on some really cute designs on sale and all of her designs will work the exact same way so you'll buy her design you'll download it it'll come downloaded in a zip file and it'll have like four or five different formats in there you want to upload usually the svg file can upload to cricut design space which is what i have don't know how you do svg to silhouette if you have a silhouette and you know how to upload an svg file the exact same way you do with your regular vinyl designs you upload it and then cut it out face down mirror it use your holographic vinyl and there you have spangles all right so if her design is say three colors then you will buy the holographic in the three colors so like here's red i'm sorry here's the clear this one is red and then i have a sheet of pink so if i have a valentine's day design and the x is red then i'll cut the x out of the red then the heart out of the pink and the o and the, you know you see what i'm saying and then when you go to press it then you'll just press them in turn one by one because don't do like i did in the beginning <laughs> when i was trying to learn to do vinyl and was impatient trying to press two at a time and end up pressing two pieces of vinyl together you don't want to do that so do one at a time and layer your design and you can make a bling design out of spangles. It's not hard at all, all right? So the holographic... Where do we get the vinyl from? Oh, yeah. Thank you, Will. Such a great friend. <laughs> um, <laughs> I feel like a nut. You know what? We're going we're gonna, to um, we're gonna take a leap of faith here. We're going to take a leap of faith. Oh, man. I know I'm going to kick myself tomorrow for this. I really am. So I'm going to have it set up on my website tomorrow where you can buy holographic vinyl from me. All right? You can buy holographic vinyl from me. <laughs> so I will have it for sale on my website starting tomorrow. You can buy holographic vinyl um, it will be not like the Cricut vinyl, um, uh, because the Cricut or the, uh, Michaels brand is a really short roll. This one is a lot longer. Uh, so actually that's why I said, I know I'm gonna kick myself because I got to figure out how the heck I'm going to ship that. <laughs> will, why did you let me say anything? Um, so once I figure out how to ship it, actually, then we'll put it on the website. But meanwhile, um, I'll put a link in the description to a local supply. You know what? Never mind. I'm not going to sell it. It's pointless for me to do that when they can ship it just as fast, if not faster. WM Plastics, I'll put a link in the description below where you can purchase directly from them. And taking me all the way out of that equation because I know I'm asking for it. There you go. Yeah, I'm too old for drama, Will. I really am. <laughs> I'm too old for normal. Yeah, and then to I don't know their stock levels. So if someone were to order five yards and I don't know if they have five yards in stock right then, that would suck, you know, because on my website I would show that that it's available and not knowing that they don't have it. So I'll make sure that there's a link in this description uh so that you guys can go and order it directly from them. Right. 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 
Well, the good thing too is WM Plastics, they sell size Caesar. It's Caesar vinyl, all right? And Caesar is some excellent, excellent brand vinyl, okay? It's some excellent vinyl. So they do the, um, they sell the heat press vinyl. I don't think they sell the permanent vinyl, um, like um, to put on glasses and mugs and stuff like that. I think their vinyl is removable, um, the other kind. But the heat press is the Caesar and it is an excellent quality. I have yet to have an issue out of that Caesar vinyl. Okay, so it's real uh, high quality. The Cricut Holographic will work. However, however, I have had a lot, heard a lot of complaints about that Cricut vinyl. So, you know, if you've had, yeah, if you've had good results out of it, it'll work. Okay, just continue what you're doing. I'm glad it works. Hope it continues to work for you. Um, however, if it were based on my suggestion, I would suggest Caesar, Caesar uh, vinyl. Um, and Michael's just went up in price on their vinyl. So I'm telling you, it's a better deal to purchase it from these guys that I'll, I'll link below. Um, because Michael's is like raking people over the coals with their prices of that vinyl for that short tube. Man, it's crazy. But, gotta make money. <laughs> Alrighty, y'all. Well, it is now 10 o'clock. Will has helped me figure out what my Achilles heel was with my live streaming. Um, I was able to show him the really cool intro and what I'll do before I log out. I will show y'all my really cool intro because I'm so super proud. It took me like five days to make this... <laughs> It really shouldn't have taken this long, but it did because I'm old and I don't have patience like I used to. Uh, Aisha, the brand Cricut I have is a Cricut One and I, a Cricut Explorer One and a Cricut Air Two. I have two Cricut machines. One was a gift to me, <laughs> so I do have two. And Will uses the Air Two as well. You could have just said it, Will. I wasn't talking that much, was I? <laughs> Oh, man. Yeah, it's time for me to get off. <laughs> All righty, ladies. Thank you, and gentlemen. Thank you for joining me this evening. I had a lot of fun. I apologize for the sketchy video and whatnot and the, the buffering and the staggering and the stuttering. It was, you know, pain in the butt as usual. But I wanted to let you guys see the difference between stones and spangles and how easy it is to get into it one way or the other you know and we'll continue to do some videos on it as time goes on but for now i'm going to bid you guys a great evening and i look forward to seeing you all in wheels live on friday at 8 p.m correct are we still on for friday yeah sweet even though that i'll be in greenville most of the day which they're that's right flight. That's right. That's right. We're going to be at the EEM show Friday, definitely. Thursday, possibly. I don't know if I'm going to go Thursday or not. I want to. My heart is telling me to be there, uh, but we'll have to see what my travel arrangements are going to be. But Friday, we'll be in the house um, in Greenville, South Carolina. So if you live in Greenville and not going to the EEM show, let me know. I'd still like to see you and say hi, you know, if you're in the area. Um, if you are going to the EEM show, look for the Blinged Out Hoop Group shirt. Woo! I'm going to get me a Blinged Out Hoop Group shirt, y'all. <laughs> and, and I'm thinking on my shirt with some rhinestones. I don't know quite yet. Will's thinking about blinging too. Holler, holler. Hello. That's that That's that <laughs> bell you got. Ring the bell, Will. Ring the bell. <laughs> We are acting up over here. Sorry. All righty, you guys. I hope you have a great night. Thank you for joining me this evening. And hey, let me know what you think about my new intro. I'll play it again, even though it's on the way out. It's still going to be my new way for coming and bringing you guys in. So have a good night. Thank you for joining me. And I look forward to seeing you all Friday in Wheels Live. Talk to you later. Bye.